Hi, Don Campbell here with Expand to Web, and today I wanted to show you a quick tour of the new Facebook for WordPress plugin that was released. Uh, Facebook just came out with this this week, and uh, it's really, really cool. I mean, it allows you to bring a lot of that Facebook functionality into your into your WordPress blog very, very easily. It allows you to do some advanced things too. We're not talking about putting a badge on your website. This allows you to do things like go in and um, mention this new blog post that you just published to your friends so it shows up on their timelines. You can also automatically post new things onto the timeline of your personal Facebook page or the pages that you control. You can add content sharing and like buttons to all of your content, making it easier for your readers to share your blog posts and a lot of other features. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so this is the Facebook plugin for WordPress. You can see it's version 1.0. Uh, just came out this week and here's how you can install it. I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard now. I'm going to go down to plugins and say add new. And for here you can just search for it because it's in the WordPress plugin directory. So I'm just going to type Facebook. There are a lot of plugins in there but if you type Facebook then this plugin does come up first and you can see it right here version 1.0 and you can say install now. So you sure you want to install this plugin? Yep, we're going to go ahead and do it. And it's going to give us a chance to activate it. Now, as soon as we activate this plugin, there's some configuration that we need to do, and it tells us that right up here at the top. It says you must configure the plugin to enable Facebook for WordPress. So let's click on that link, and it's going to guide us through a process where we need to create an app for Facebook. So this is creating a Facebook app that's going to be used to connect our WordPress blog with Facebook. All right, so what we need to do is actually build an app and, and follow these instructions. And here you can see they give you some nice screenshots on how to set everything up. Um, and then you need to copy some information back here. And then you'll go into the plugin screen where it'll show you which features you want to turn on and turn off. So let's go ahead and click on this, this link for the app. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is press the Create New App button. And we have to give it a name. You can give it anything. You can say, okay, this is for my WordPress blog. And then a namespace, this needs to be unique. So I'm going to just use my, um, my website name, Don's Board Shop. And hmm, that failed for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay. I guess it doesn't like the caps. I think there's some rules here that you need to use. So I've gone in here, Don's Board Shop, and then we're gonna say continue. And I'm gonna type in this little uh, security check, get past that. Great, now it's created an app for me. And what we need to do next is type in a few basic things. Um, we're gonna put in here the domain name. That's where my site lives. I'm gonna give it a category, we'll call it um, you know, sports, I guess. All right, so now I'm going to fill in my domain, my actually website URL under website with Facebook login and under mobile web in those two sections only. And then I'll say save changes. And now it's gonna come back to me and give me a little bit of information. It's giving me a key, um, some other basics. So it's got this app ID and this app secret. And these are things that I'm gonna need um, when I go back into my WordPress options. So let me scroll down here, I'll show you what I mean. As I scroll down, and it's, it's kind of giving me a screenshot of you know what to do, what we just went through. I need to give it my app ID, and then the app secret key, which is right below it. And then the app namespace. And for namespace, if you remember, we used Don's board shop. So whatever you typed in there, you're gonna put into this field and hit save changes. And this is actually connecting that application with your WordPress site. And now you get to decide what options to turn on. And there's a whole bunch of different options. One of these, the first one here, Social Publisher, it allows you to publish any blog posts to a timeline or to a fan page. So I definitely want to do this, right? I would like to turn that on and post to the, my timeline. And it gives me a little description of what this is all about here. But what I really want to do is instead of that, I, I want to publish it to, it just keeps popping that window. I want to publish it to a page. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the login. It's just authenticating me here and say allow. So I'm connecting through this little Facebook app. And then I can go in and choose which pages I want it to go to. And here I'm going to say go to Don's Board Shop. So now whenever I post a blog post here, it's automatically going to show up. Uh, it's going to post to that Facebook page. That's pretty cool, huh? I mean, you needed a separate tool to do that before, and there are a bunch of different things available, but I like how this is just directly integrated into WordPress. You can also turn on the like button, and this allows um, basically the like button, and you can have send show up, and you can give it different layouts and play with those, but I can turn that on, so now that's going to show up whenever next to my blog post, so people can like and, and share and things like that. Um, I'm also going to turn on comments. This is something that you can do. So there's, there are other things too. You can allow people to subscribe. You can turn on a separate send button. Um, you can turn in comments if you want to use the Facebook comments instead of the WordPress comments. Um, so let's go turn on a few of these features. Okay, so I turn on the social publisher. So when I publish a blog post, it's going to update my Facebook page. All right. I also turn on the like and share buttons. And then I turn on the Facebook comments. So let's save these changes and see how that shows up on the website. All right, so I'm going to go to my website now. And I'm going to go to the blog area. And I've already got a blog post out here. All right, this is Don's Board Shop. And if I go here, you'll see a couple of things interesting. First of all, the like and the send for Facebook are already turned on for this blog post at the top and at the bottom. Also, the Facebook comments are turned on too. So those are you know, turn on by default, and that's pretty cool. Now let's go back into face into WordPress. And I've got a new blog post that's ready to go. Um, just kind of give you an example. Here it's in draft mode. Let's go ahead and edit that. I want to show you some of the other things that have been turned on. So here's my blog post. It has not been published yet. It just saved as draft. And watch what happens when I scroll down here. I have some new widgets over on the right-hand side. One says mention Facebook pages, and there says mention Facebook friends. So this means that I could, I could type in like a Facebook friend or a Facebook page, and then my post would show up on their timeline if I already have a relationship with them. So Expand to Web has a Facebook page. I could make this new post show up there. Also, if I had a friend that I could show up in here, um, then they would show up on their timeline as well. So basically, if I have friends that I've connected with in Facebook, they'll get notified of my posts to show up in their timeline. So it's pretty cool. I can also update um, here. I can say if I wanted to add a special message, like here is my latest blog post, then that will show up. This little message will show up as part of the story. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and publish this post. All right. Now, let's take a look at the blog post once it's published on WordPress. Let's go view the post. And here you'll see that we've got the, you know, hey, look who was mentioned on Facebook. Expand Web was mentioned. Also, I've got like and send buttons down here. And so what I'm going to do is go over to my Facebook page as well and kind of see this activity, see what happened over here. Look at that. Here's my message I typed in. And here's my blog post with the image. Everything was done for me automatically, which is pretty cool. Now, if I go to facebook.com slash expand to web, which is the other page I mentioned, okay, if I scroll down here, you can see that this was also published uh, recent posts by others on expand to web. And here it is, what you should know before buying your first surfboard. And I can click to that. And here's a link to my article showed up on that page. So those are just some of the features. There's a lot of other things you can do here. But uh, pretty cool integration, um, I think. Pretty direct, you know, integration right into Facebook. I mean, right into your WordPress site. And so there are a lot of other things. If I go back into my dashboard, there is this uh, Facebook on the side. You can also get to your insights, which is sort of like a Facebook analytics that it will launch and give you some some tracking data on the things that you've posted. Um, but right now. We don't have a lot of history there, so it's not telling us much. But if you want to ever change any of these settings, just go into Facebook on the sidebar, and that's where you can change these uh, settings, you know, all the stuff. You can play around with different layouts and different uh, like and recommend actions and color schemes, and you can customize a lot of things here. So very, very cool stuff. I'd like to know uh, what you guys think.
And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and I'd love to hear how this is working for you. If you're using this Facebook plugin for WordPress um, instead of other social sharing plugins and, and how you're hooking it up to your Facebook pages. So let me know. Thanks.